the CUSA conference title. UTSA won 49 to 41 over Western Kentucky. Roadrunners, man. This they, team has been awesome. All Jeff year Trailer. Long. God, I, I forget what the quote was, but he, he went for fourth down a couple of times where it was yep. eh, a little iffy. You know, maybe we shouldn't. He said, I just signed a 10 year contract. Like, they can't pay me out right now. Like, yeah. I can do whatever I want to, right? Now. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. It's but how do this? I think he needed some of those fourth downs. He like, did. This is a, a tight game. This is a close game. It's a good game. It, it I was. was uh, I was real happy for the Roadrunners to pull this out. Finish this yeah. season strong. UTSA closed as a three and a half point dog. They opened as a one and a half point favorite. They won rushing yards 304 to negative nine. Now, Western Kentucky oh. doesn't even try. To, no, to, and, and, and rushing, it, college football still just yes. won't fix their stats. Those are all sacks because you don't run the football ever. Yeah, they uh, they ran the ball, uh, let's see, a total of 16 times for negative nine yards. Two of them were sacks that uh, cost them 35 yards. Yeah, Winning that, kill, that kills you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Bailey because Zapp, that's taken off a of running game. Seven attempts for five total yards for him. The uh, running back, four attempts for 15 yards. But, uh, but Bailey Zapp, man, he threw this thing... 36 out of 59, uh, 577 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. They were yep. down 28 to 13 at the half and then came out two just idiotic plays that, that led them to a 42 to 13 hole. Yep. And and then they started coming back. And who, uh, they, yeah, but it, it got tight. It got, got real tight. tight. But I, at, at some point in time, you're playing against the clock, right? Like, this is what everyone said in that Patriots-Falcons game, like the coaching disaster that that was because you're not even playing against an opponent now. Like, you're yeah. just playing against time. And if you can't manage that well enough, you don't deserve to be coaching. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, Gary Lewis said, trivia star, Utah tailback was buried on Cincinnati running back depth chart around 2018. I don't know which one that is. I will tell you this, Cincinnati's – Star running back Jerome Ford was buried on Alabama's depth chart for a long time. Like he just got to get the opportunity. Like you don't know which one of these guys is going to end up. You know, this is why if you're a five star guy and you're going to play behind four or five other five star guys in front of you, stop doing that. Yeah, go somewhere where you can play, even if it's a small school. Winning a ring and never touching the field has got to be a sad, sad life. Yes. (laughs) Paul Riggs jumped in. Chris, in my 68 years, this is the first time hearing what you said. First man through the wall gets bloody. I will use it. Uh, that's not a quote from me. That's a quote actually from Billy Bean. The baseball, when he started doing the sabermetrics things, there were sabermetric guys out in the world trying to get baseball to convert to it, and no GM would do it. Billy Bean was backed up against the wall. He had no choice. When it when it started going badly early, he, he immediately – tried to, to rally his troops and get the people in his locker room to understand first got through the wall, always gets bloody. You, you just, we're going to catch negative heat. We have to keep doing it though. It's the only way to keep winning. It's the only yeah. way to beat the bad guys is you've got to turn the odds around on the house. Thanks for listening to the winning cures, everything podcast. The website is winning cures, everything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.